What's up you guys? John here from johnnyoctave.com here to show you uh, Empire of the Sun's We Are the People. So let's get right into it, shall we? First chord in this progression is going to be E minor. This is your old standard E minor shape. Second chord in the progression is this fancy little B minor shape that they're playing, which is your second finger on the A string, fifth fret. First finger is going to go on the D string, fourth fret. Those two notes. Pinky's gonna go on the G string, seventh fret. Okay? And then you're gonna have the B string and the high E string open. So you've got this. Okay? My second finger's touching this bottom string, the low E string, so it's muting it out so I can get a nice full strum on that. Okay? So that's a B minor at 11 with D in the bass, if you must know. Okay, and then that shape's going to shift down two frets to make a C major 7, okay? Still muting out that bottom string with my second finger. Nothing changed between that shape and this shape, okay? Then you're going to go to an E minor chord again, right back up to your fancy B minor chord, okay? Now, that is quite literally the intro and the first verse. The only thing that changes between the first verse and the second verse is they're going to add an A minor chord in there. So you still have this E minor chord for two measures. Fancy B minor for two measures. C major 7, two measures. And then in the second verse, they throw in this A minor, a minor chord. Okay? So let me play the first verse and the second verse so you can hear how they go. And then I'll break the strum pattern down for you. First verse. Two measures, E minor, B minor, two measures, C major, two measures, E minor, one measure, B minor, one measure, E minor, two measures, two, C major seven. back up to your B minor, uh, your fancy B minor chord for one measure. So that was literally the intro, first verse, second verse, okay? Um, let me break the chord, uh, uh, the strum, the strum down. I do want to make one mention about your fancy B minor chord, is that uh, you can replace that if you already know B minor 7 down here in the second fret area, like that where you bar your first finger across the A through E strings, okay? No E, no low E string. Third finger is going to go on the D string, fourth fret. Second finger is going to go on the uh, the B string, third fret. That chord can be replaced uh, with that chord. They're interchangeable. Some some people like that one better. Not me though. I'm, I'm digging on that one. I think that's the one they play in the in the tune. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Okay. So anyways, um, the strum pattern is is this. We're gonna go. I'm gonna teach it to you on an E minor chord. Okay. We're gonna go down, up, pause, or mute the strings with your right hand. So just set your hand down on the strings. Down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up. That's the entire, that's a strum pattern that I use through the entire tune. So let me go through a verse again so that you can see how the strum pattern goes with it. And uh, I'll do it kind of slow for you. So I think the tricky part about the strum pattern is uh, that between this E minor chord and some of the other changes is that it happens on the up beat. So you have your pause and then the next beat is when you're changing chords. So sometimes for some people, uh, changing on an up beat is challenging. So I just want to work on that. Okay. So again, here, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute. So in that mute portion I'm changing. Up, down, up, mute, up, down, up. Up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up. So you 
can see the changes happening in between um, on those muted sections. So practice that. And the next thing would be the chorus. Let me show that to you. So the chorus is going to start out on this C major 7 chord. Okay. We're going to go one measure there. We're going to go down to an E minor chord. We're going to go one measure there. Okay. Then we're going to hop on over to a chord D11. Okay, and all that's happening here is your index finger is going to bar along the fifth fret on the A, D, G, B, and high E strings. Okay, that chord is going to go for two measures. Then you're going to go down to C major 7 again. Two measures there. E minor, two measures there. And then you're going to have a D major 7 chord. Okay, and D major 7 is open D string. And you're going to bar your first finger along the G, B, and high E strings at the second fret. Okay, and that's going to go for two measures using the same strum pattern. So let me show all that to you, okay? twice. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, so that's the chorus and all we have left to learn is the bridge. So let's knock that one out. Then you're going to go up to your fancy B minor, okay, down to C major 7, A minor, fancy B minor, okay. So let me play through that for you, same strum pattern again, it's going to go like this. again for the second half of that bridge, uh, which, let's do that again for you. So there you have it. Uh, we've got uh, Empire of the Suns, We Are the People. You guys have fun with this. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hop on over to johnnyoctave.com to check out all of my other cool, fun lessons. We'll see you soon.